y'all, what's up everybody? Welcome back, tis I, Worst Effin' Gamer, and I'm back with another Hero Spotlight, guys. Today we have a brand new Conjuring Stone Hero, and it is this guy, Goram. <laughs> oh, that hurt my throat. Goram, wow. <clears throat> that was not easy to say. Goram. Oh, wow. So, let me do a first gold chest. Shake off the rust, right? Shake off the rust because you guys already know I have the worst effing luck in the freaking world. All right, so wish me luck, guys. Let's go. What are the chances I get this guy on the first pull? First pull! Come on! Fuck! All right. Now, here's the god-awful decision. Should I go 10 times, open one, or open one 10 times? Shit. All right, I'm going to open one 10 times. I never have luck one by one. Come on, give it to me now! Fuck! 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 No! No! That's 4,000. All right, all right. Four more, guys. God damn it. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yes, there it is. The Chaos Rider. Goram. Holy scraboli, this guy looks freaking awesome. Wow. I love the way this guy looks. Ha! All right, guys. So this guy looked freaking phenomenal. Wow, look at that. All right, let's go and check this guy out. All right, boys. So here it is. Level 1 Goram. First of all, I love the look. All right. For these animations, look pretty awesome. He's just riding that. What the hell is that, though? Is that some kind of a mechanical lion? Or that's not even a lion. That's some kind of a Siberian goat. I don't know what the hell that shit is. But this guy, wow. All right. Now, let's begin to fuse this Marasaka and see what the hell his abilities do and don't forget boys don't forget this guy actually has an awakening so we'll take a look at that afterwards as well so let's fuse to as far as i can go here all right guys so we're at purple plus one now here's where it gets a little bit tricky you know what i'm saying you gotta watch out what you fuse with because some of these items you might need you know what i mean for your orange plus two hero so you don't want to get crazy here don't get crazy now. Okay. So far, so good. What's this? Uh, I think I have a lot of these ones. So, we'll go one more here. We'll go one more. And next one. And I think I got everything of those. All right. So, already, we're at purple plus four. Fusion! Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's go. Wow. There's two of those healing stones. All right, whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to orange right away with this guy because, uh, whoa, I can go to orange plus one. What? Do I have everything? So this is orange plus one and orange plus two. And by the looks of it, it I think I have everything to get this guy directly to orange plus two. But we're not going to rush on that. You guys already know I'm working on Alana awakening right now. So we're not going to rush on the awakening. All right. So I say let's take this bad boy. Let's get his abilities up a little bit here, right? And let's go right into a battle, right? That's when we can actually find out exactly what his abilities do. So let's go! Alright guys, so here we are about to enter a campaign battle. It's fairly easy, alright? Just to see what his abilities do here. Now, I want to see his alignment first. That's always important to see where, you know, your heroes are going to line up. So let's begin with some aligning. Alright, so he's a frontline DPS hero. Isabel goes in back. Torsen in front. That's crucial. How about other heroes such as Alice in the back? Crusher? Crusher's in the front. Uh, how about Dina? She's in the back. Hmm. Back. Back. Tashi? Back. Alright, so he's pretty forward here. How about Zem? Oh my god. He's even in front of Zem. Obviously, he's gonna be, she's gonna be in front. Xanos is in the front. Front of her front and front and front wow so the only heroes that this guy is in all right so vincent is in the front vernos is in the back wow drillers in the back elric is in the front 
So, wow. So there's only two that I've seen there. Leon, Drago is in the front. And Torsen. So about four heroes in the front. So he's pretty front heavy guy. So it's going to be tough to align him with a good combo. Anyways, let's go right into this guy's abilities. Gorum's ultimate deals a powerful blow that is randomly distributed among the enemy units. In addition, one enemy unit takes a larger amount of aftershock damage. His second ability, Gorum summons three illusionary units. Each unit uses Gorum's basic attack plus gets buffed by his third and awakened ability. His third ability increases physical crit rating plus extra damage if his attack is a crit. It also gives all of his other attacks a chance to reduce enemy physical armor, including his shadow units. Gorum's fourth ability throws a fireball at random enemies, dealing physical damage and stunning them. Wow guys, so those abilities look absolutely crazy good, especially his ultimate here. I mean, if we want to look a little bit further into his ultimate, Gorham swings his giant sword, delivering a blow so powerful that the space-time itself is distorted. Because of the distortion, damage dealt is randomly distributed on all enemy units. When the attack is complete, a random enemy will take some aftershock damage. Alright, so very, very powerful ultimate here and that's very important. Now, let's dig a little bit further into his Divine Shield. Divine Shield is uh, Goran's uh, awakening ability here, so it's not unlocked yet. It will be unlocked when he's finally awakened. So, Goran's attacks have a chance of collecting magic fragments from the enemy, giving Gorum a magic shield. Once he has the shield, collecting more fragments will be further strengthened, strengthen his shield so he can uh, more absorb, more absorb, more damage. All right, so somebody in Lilith is messing up there with this whole language here. His shield so it can more absorb, more damage. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so what this uh, is saying, guys, is this guy will be even tougher to deal with. Holy hell, he's going to be unbelievably strong. Uh, I feel like this guy is going to be crazy powerful. Wow. That ultimate is ridiculous. He's got those clones. Jesus Christ. These heroes are getting better and better, guys. Really, really good. Now, if you want to see Gorum in action a little bit more, I will be live today at 3 o'clock. Alright, so I'll see you guys there. But for now, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you guys enjoy that spotlight. Work on Gorum. I certainly will. I might bring this guy to Orange Plus 2 right away. And definitely start his awakening, alright? So, until then, I will see you guys next time, alright? Be cool, and I'll see you guys in a while. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.